Hello and welcome to our special Thanksgiving broadcast. I'm your host, Bradley Leon. In the next hour, we will cover the three F's of Thanksgiving, family, food, and football. Dylan Hill and Owen Sherman will host a new type of bowling. Our English department will be fed some weird foods. And Hartman has a new dish that will surely wow everyone at the family dinner. Finally, watch as some of our most knowledgeable football gurus go at it on the virtual gridiron for a shot at glory. Here at the first annual Montgomery Pumpkin Bowling Competition, and uh, we have our contestants over here, all these brave souls. We have cranberry sauce laid out to go with our Thanksgiving theme. As the name suits, we bowl with pumpkins. Durang, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great today. Nice sunny day out here. My hair is blowing in the wind. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Mr. Rank was talking some big game. How are you going to account for that? Well, he's old. All right, Alexis, pre-game interview. What are your thoughts? Honestly, I don't know how well I'm gonna do because I can barely even roll a bowling ball, so. Roll the pumpkin straight and hopefully hit all of them. All right, Mr. Allwer. Just throw, throw a pumpkin down the, down the alley here, I'd say. Yeah? Yep. Feeling confident? No. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh. oh. Wow. Our lane specialist. Oh wow. my goodness. Oh. Here with Jimmy, our lane specialist. Uh, who do you favor? Who's going to win it? I think Alexa's going to come from the back and take it all. Uh, she's been horrible so far. Oh. Jimmy, Alexis is now at seven with Cam in the lead at 18. You still feeling confident in her? I still have confidence in her. She's got to come back from the back of the pack and lead the race the rest of the way. All right, there's only two more rounds left, so it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot, but I'm still confident in my horse. I'm taking her all the way to the end. All righty, thank you. They're pretty even, all except for Alexis. She didn't come out of the gate quick enough. Yeah. She came in last place. The rest of them, it was a tight race all the way through. I think they all did a very fine job. I think next year I might have to get into running and show them how to put points on the board. All right, Cam, how are you feeling about the win? Well, you see, Mr. Art came into the game late and uh, thought he was going to punish some people here. On my last shot, when I completely missed, he's like, hey, don't miss. I completely blew by it. I think it was pure karma that he only got one on his last shot. It must have been nerve-wracking. It, it, it was nerve-wracking. My stomach kind of hurt a little bit, but I did win by one point, and uh, I'd just like to thank all my sponsors yeah. and uh, everybody here that told me I could do it, and Jimmy, of course, our professional here. Thank you. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching Pumpkin Bowling. I'm Dylan Hill, and enjoy the rest of the broadcast.
Hello and welcome to the 2022-2023 MFL Draft. My name is Gavin Strauss and I'm the Commissioner of the MFL. I would like to wish, to, wish luck to all the teams out there on their uh, team selection journey. Let the, let the 2022 MFL Draft commence. No matter who I get, I'm trading Noah, Seahaw Noah for the Seahawks. Oh, beautiful. I accept the offer of the Chiefs for the Seahawks from Matt. You are kidding. No, I'm quitting. I'm not playing. This trades for me giving him the Lions and him giving me the Giants. Now this is he has the Panthers and I'll give him the Lions. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news, there's been a trade. I am giving Parker the Ravens for the Lions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Breaking news, there's been a trade. I traded the Buccaneers for the Ravens. Hi everybody, Mrs. Good here, standing in for Mr. Rule. I'm about to spin the wheel. You said go. My fault. Go. Welcome to the first official game of the MFL. I am John Quarter Pounder with Cheese, and this is my co-host, Stinkbug. So now that all of our contestants have drafted their teams, it's time to get into the season. Your breath stinks, by the way. All right, bro. Yes! How do I do this? Oh! Go. There's a name. He's got a burst. Keep going. Two. What is that? Let's go. Why? Oh! No way! No! Yes, sir. You underthrew it! Yes, sir! To the crib! Junk! That's junk! Money! Money ball! He's got a lane! He's got a burst! Touchdown! Here we go, we got Matt versus Lil Wolf. And here we go, we got interceptions and fumbles? What is this highlight reel of the game? Back to the crib for seven. And let's get into it here. Time out. Two point conversion. What's happening? That looks like a dirty toe tap from Farmer Matt. That elbow grease just ain't wearing off yet. Here we go. Oh, we tried to take him down just too strong and he gets him down to the ground. Way to go, Matt. The matchup against Matt and Lil Olaf was sure a blowout. And you're not wrong. Well, our next game that we got with Heisenberg and Zoe. You can't get much worse than that last game. Well, stink bug it did. And let's get into it. An absolute hiss stick from Heisenberg. Bam! Back to the crib for seven. Here we got hiss stick fumbles. Back to the crib for Heisenberg. His, this score is getting out of hand. Here we got sacks. So many of them. It just don't stop. And here we got interceptions. Heisenberg's just going off like crazy. Here we go. He's rowing the boat. Missed field goal like Oscar. What is happening? 141 nothing is outstanding. That is despicable. Hello everyone, thank you for watching this amazing Thanksgiving broadcast. I'm back here with another rendition of Hartman's Helpful Tips. Today we are going to be cooking instant mashed potatoes with some gravy. Here helping me today will be Mr. J. Newcomer to help me make these mashed potatoes. How are you doing today, Mr. Newcomer? Great, I'm ready for some mashed potatoes. 
So we have collected all the ingredients needed to make these awesome mashed potatoes and the budget really uh, didn't let us get boiling hot water so we're set, uh, settling with lukewarm water instead. So you're going to take your water, you're going to dump it all in, be very careful because it's also very hot, and replace the pan, get this towel right here, place that right there, and Mr. Newcomer, would you like to measure the mashed potato mix for us? I would love nothing more. Great. I think it's about a half a cup, is that what it says? Yeah, that looks about right. Like roughly. Roughly right. Yeah. Go ahead, pour it on in. Then we take this whisk. What do we do? You whisk it. Mm. Ooh, perfect. Just wait till you guys see this one. It's all set. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, it just smells oh. amazing. That was great. All right. We're going to take two tablespoons of eggnog because we also couldn't afford milk, but somehow we could afford eggnog. Don't ask me, as a production team. District budget. Yep, district budget. Dump two tablespoons of eggnog in there. Uh, I forget how much butter this is, if I'm being honest. So we're just going to dump all this butter in. And, you know, I forgot, I really need to measure salt, but as you guys know from before, I'm not a man who likes to take measurements. I'm a man who goes from the heart, by the eye, and we're just going to dump as much salt as we prefer in there. Tell me when, when to stop, Mr. Newcomer. Salty taties. Yeah, these are gonna be some very salty taties. Alright. Cameraman, take a peek, please. Mm. These are your mashed potatoes. Now it's time for the halfway taste test. Ready? Deek! There's definitely some salt in there. There is. Whew. Wanna take a whiff with me? Mmm. Mmm. That's probably the best gravy I've ever smelled. Dump it all in. Voila. Your gravy bucket. Now it's time for the seasonings. We're going to begin with dinosaur barbecue habanero hot pepper sauce. As you know, I'm not a fan of measurements, so we're going to go by the heart. Mmm. There we go. That should be enough. Commissioner Cummer, would you like to put our Montreal chicken seasoning in? I would love. Tell me when. Perfection. So, Mr. Newcomer, yeah, I heard you're a big fan of Vegemite. Love it. Do you happen to have any on hand? I do. I do. I have some right here. Well, would you look at that? How much would you like in? Well, we have to have a nice hearty spoonful. Maybe two. Mmm. That was deep. <clears throat> One spoonful. We're gonna get another lighter spoonful. Mm. That is how you season your gravy. So, Mr. Newcomer, let's begin the whisking process. Would you like to scoop out the mashed potatoes for our gravy? And I'll begin whisking. Sure, I'll do a nice big Montgomery Farm scoop. There we go, let me get my Vegemite all mixed up. Mm. Could you get another scoop in there, please? Sure. Thank you, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Finger looking good. Finger looking good. Is that what KFC says, Mr. Colonel Sanders? That's right. All right, here's your mixed gravy. Now it's time for the gravy bowl dump. Mm. And the taste test. Mix it all in. Here we go, grab your little bit. You ready? Take it. <coughs> oh, not that bad. Yeah, not that bad. <laughs> Thank you for watching Harmon's Helpful Tips. This is Mr. J Newcomer. My name is Peyton Harmon. Thank you for watching this amazing broadcast. I'll see you guys later. I'm getting the walking baby. Uh, Alright, alright. Ah, oh, oh, he's coming for you. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't know. The thing is, it's a winnable game. It's a winnable game, I'm not going to choose.
but immortalized fame or that is obviously more important. That's a touch. Yeah, so I might have to leave. <laughs> you know, it hurts me dearly. It's a close game. But some things in life come over football. Okay, and it was a, it was a close game, but um. And quarter pan of cheese. That guy we just watched lose kind of looks like you. All right, that's that's my brother. First of all, and second of all, we got more games coming. So to you, Hartman. Here we have Milkman and Kyle Seagraves. Kyle was, was making these long plays all day, but Matt Matt was just too big and powerful. As you can see, two kick returns from Kyle Seagraves. Absolute an animal. Check two. Let's make it three. Three kick returns for Kyle Seagraves. Kyle with another dot. Seahawks secondary was getting toasted all day. They can't do nothing against Kyle Seagraves and Zach Wilson. As you can see, two, two long touchdown drives by Kyle, and he even ends up getting a safety. But Matt was just too big and powerful. Hit stick fumble, Matt picks it up. Matt dots up Kyle's receiver. You might as well just say Matt owns Kyle at this point. That was just crazy. So we tried up the stream quality and something happened. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we'll play it, we'll see if you guys can notice. Our attempt at upping the stream quality didn't work as we hoped, so uh, the rest of the broadcast will be in 480p. Here's the battle of the mullet versus Zach. Let's get to it. First play of the game, here you see it's back to the crib for seven. And an interception from Zach Dill takes it back to the crib. Mullet with an interception. And down he goes. Touchdown! Dirty toe tap from Zach. Oh my god, that was an outstanding play. Zach deal again. Let's see. Untouchable. Crazy. Back to the crib for seven. Get it. Get it. What is that? Oh my god. Let's go Dude, I even covered it. That's me. Swerve. Get go Hartman, get in there and touch now. How did my give me that? Give me that, Hartman. <laughs> yeah. Good mod. Swerve. Oh. Oh. Yes. Patty Mahomes. Patty Mahomes. <laughs> How does Patrick Mahomes? Can we go for two? Whoa. Keep thinking. Keep thinking. Stop. No! I think we would beat St. Joe's Prep. Yeah, yeah, probably. Or Bishop McDevitt. Oh, Bishop McDevitt is horrible. Single is harder because it's number one because it's only one end. Yeah, that might be a Yes, sir! Oh. Yes, sir, Jacob. What? Yeah. Let's go, Jacob! Yeah. No! Great yeah. review. He's down. Oh, what? Yes, sir. Go, Jacob. Go to the crib. What's your problem? Trying to get to the catch it. Why would you try to go there? No! 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 You know, I'm on your side. No, Jacob doesn't listen. What's your line back? That's what I thought. Oh! Green pass. If you don't fake it, you're not smart. Green pass. Throw to the Why did you not throw that? Oh, that's out too. Oh my god, I missed. Foul ball. The world is a vampire.
We got an inception by by Pusing. Going back, look like he's going six for a touchdown. Oh, and this is about no coming this time. Got safety. Wide open. What kind of defense is this? Garbage. Well, there's a TD defense. Well, completion by newcomer. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Okay, dot. We got another dot. Score six like a touchdown. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, you're not. Oh, you're not that guy. Let's go. Dude, that's why you like to see that. Get that thing. Get that thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Moser. Oh my gosh, can you cover? Moser. We are that guy! Moser! Let's go! Ball ball over! Get him! Yes! Move, move, move! No! no. Talking about some losers. Yeah, hold this, buddy. Alright, yeah, flip back to the first game he played. <laughs> okay. We got. Is that an interception? It is an interception! Come on! Boom! Bring it home! Another one! Oh, Josh Allen. He's going! He's going! He's going! To the crib! To the crib! Is it an interception? It's another one. Another one. Oh my. DJ Khaled. Not one. Not two. Not three. Not four. I don't know. I lost count. Touchdown. Another pick. This is embarrassing. Okay. Oh. Oh, he got sticky. He got sticky. Is that another interception? No, it's not. Touchdown. Another interception. Is he taking us to the crib? He is. Run going on here oh 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 he's going can he catch him can he catch him the answer is no touchdown oh okay oh boy <gasps> it smells okay mm. okay what if? oh oh stop it we'll see this one might be okay actually it's uh, is this mashed potatoes it's mashed potatoes I with pumpkin know. spice. What's yours? Oh, mashed potatoes. I think it needs salt. That's a distinct flavor. I give it a four. Mm, I'm, I'm, that's a two. That's a two. All right, I'm not going to lie. This is fantastic. I don't know. The <laughs> stuffing's pretty good. I used to like stuffing. I'm going to go for a second bite. This is fantastic. I'm mean, not horrible. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. You should add that to your list of things to make. It's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. No. I'm don't think it's your mashed potatoes. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to try this again. Actually, that's not too bad. Can I give this the stuffing like a 10 out of 10? Yeah, I will. That's not bad. I'd give it like a six. That's yeah, that bad. definitely won't go on my Thanksgiving no. menu. The mashed potatoes though, I'm gonna give it a one. Yeah. Some cranberry sauce next mm -hmm. time. Oh, yes. Oh, no. 
This oh, look, I got cranberry sauce. Oh my gosh, you did. <laughs> Guys, first, this like... is not kind. <laughs> cranberry sauce. I, I thought it was a red beet at first. I, I was absolutely like, oh my hate God. cranberry sauce. That's a prior out of 10. <laughs> Do not recommend. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that one. No surprise. Applesauce with pumpkin spice. Delightful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yep. wonderful. Cranberry sauce with the, it's gross. <laughs> Uh, I'll give this like a three. I'm gonna give it a zero and I didn't even touch it. Oh, hot cocoa? See, the hot chocolate? Yep. Cheers. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, it's that gonna be fantastic. Good. I hardly taste it in yep. that. I just taste, that one's not bad. Lukewarm chocolate milk, that's good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, let's just hang out. So how's your day going? It's great. I mean, it's really good. I don't really know what else to say about that. Cause I'm not giving us any more, right? We're done? All right, successful. <laughs> oh, gee, which one should I take? Oh. <laughs> one. I got a two. I'm a little concerned right now. Six. I teach English, so mm -hmm. three. Down. <laughs> cool. uh, what is that? Oh, my. Oh no. No. <laughs> I can't. I, what? Can we smell it? Can I smell it? Oh no. Oh no. no. I saw the picture. I got Vienna sausages. I'm gonna take this one that has the- Taking all your names humongous. out of the senior collection, by the way, for lunch. It's not spam, is it? Telling you right it now. It is spam. spam. If it's spam, oh, I'm not eating it. You've got spam. I'm not. Oh my god, I got spam. I'm not. I wouldn't eat either okay. of them. It looks like cat food. It, this that is like, nasty. Uh, okay. Uh, Do I have to even attempt to eat this? Because I really don't want to. <laughs> Ew, that looks so gross. Yeah. Carrie, you approved this? Huh? You approved this? You said you weren't allergic to it. No! Three, two, one, go. Looks so bad. I recommend everybody trying. <laughs> oh, pumpkin spice tuna. Uh, oh no, you can't even taste the pumpkin spice because that's so bad. You should have some. No, I don't want it! Get it out of my face! I don't I didn't understand even the feed texture. My kids that. It's the texture that really bothers me. It is a negative number. <laughs> I don't even want to swallow Ew, it. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ew, I hate that so much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> what is <laughs> it? It doesn't taste bad, it's just the texture for me. Oh. It's gone. Yep, we're done. That was spicy. <laughs> I win. <laughs> well, stink bug, looks like the last of our teachers are out of the tournament. Let's take a look. Man, every single game we've watched has been disappointing, you know? We're starting the semifinals now, though, so maybe it'll change. Yeah, hopefully they're not boring. All right, let's get into this game. Stout versus Noah. Stout starting it off good. Oh, not good pass by Noah. And a fumble! Oh, Stout up the middle. Oh, there he goes. There he's gone! Travis Kelsey? No. Oh, he fumbles! Stout! Oh, what a grab! Oh, Stout, he's gone. I don't know what Noah was doing. No flag and a touchdown. Stout up the middle. Wow, he's just everywhere. Noah sucks. Oh, it's Noah. What a grab. What a grab. Noah back in it. Oh, Noah fumbles it. He's out of it. Noah with a good pass. He might get there. He has a chance. And he's in. Fumble. Noah's got it. He's got room. Oh, he's gone. Oh, good ball by Noah. And he's in. Stout, wide open. Noah was running towards the sideline. Get down, get down. Call Tano, call Tano. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That's what all I wanted to do. That's all. There, it's there. It's there. I knew it's there. there. I'm thankful for the four F's. Friends, family, food, and football.
I'm thankful for my family, for my friends who are like family, and for my students who motivate me every day. I'm thankful for my growing family this year. I am thankful for food. I am thankful for my husband and my children, number one. I'm also thankful for my job and my great colleagues and all the great students I get to teach and have fun every day. I am thankful for friends. I'm thankful for my coaches. I'm thankful for my students. I'm thankful for my parents. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful to get together with all my family and friends for the holidays and have some turkey and fill her up. I'm thankful to come in every day and see the wonderful students of Montgomery. I'm thankful for my friends and family. I am thankful for my two trucks and for me to go on a cruise with my wife in March to the Bahamas. I am thankful for my five children that I was blessed with and a profession that allows me to spend a lot of time with them. I'm thankful for my family and friends and my students here at Montgomery. I am thankful, um, of course, for my friends and my family and all of the things um, that everybody's thankful for. But this year especially, I am thankful for this amazing fall weather. Hola, te doy gracias por mi familia. I give thanks for my family, my friends, my students, and my school. Um, I'm going to say uh, thank you. I am extremely grateful for the Montgomery Area School District, all the administrators and staff, and of course all of you, the wonderful kids and students. I am thankful for a little bit of time off, um, spending time with people that I love, and pie. Definitely pie. I'm thankful for my family, my wonderful husband, and my two grown children. This Thanksgiving I'm thankful for my family, my beautiful daughters, and uh, really thankful for that deep postseason playoff run by the Phillies. Uh, I'm thankful for my friends and family. I am thankful for this job. I'm thankful for my students and my friends and my family. I'm thankful for many things. My family, our health, and all these lovely blessings right here at Montgomery Elementary. Here we go. Wave. I'm thankful for my friends and family. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends, family, and students. I am very thankful that we live in a country where we are free to make numerous choices every day and live our lives in a free manner. I am thankful for my job. I'm thankful for my wonderful co-workers. Um, and most of all, I'm thankful for my family, my husband, and my kids. I'm thankful for Gavin. I'm thankful for Gabe. I'm thankful for Owen. And I'm thankful for Weston. I'm thankful for this job and school and education in general. I am thankful for having friends around to support me. Andy, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for my blue sweater. I am thankful to have affordable housing and a roof over my head. I'm thankful for my friends and my family. I'm thankful for all the freedoms we have. First and foremost, I'm thankful to be at a, a, in Montgomery where I can teach an amazing group of kids every year and get to work with students who are in high school and get to see them regularly. And also just to have the opportunity to work with an amazing uh, staff uh, people who are really supportive of each other, cover for each other, and also have that deep appreciation for, for where we are. And finally, of course, my family. My family drives me to come to work every day. I enjoy my job because of them. So just a couple things that I'm thankful for. Uh, have a great uh, Thanksgiving. Holy crap. Those last two You games. can't say that. We're on live TV. My say it fault. again. Holy smokes. Those no, 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 no. Again, one more. Those were crazy. Those last two games we just watched were phenomenal. Amazing. Astonishing. Exquisite. I don't got any more for you. The last championship game of our tournament. Rafiki versus Elbow Grease. Who do you think's winning this? I got Rafiki. Who do you think the score's gonna be? It's gonna be a tight game, probably like 140 to like three maybe. Okay, well, I got Elbow Grease. Um, you know, I think he's got a fighting chance. I'm gonna say he's gonna win 63 to 34. Oh, that's crazy, Matt! Oh, that's crazy!
Oh, what a blood! Well, John, the quarter pounder with cheese. Sad to say the season's finally came to an end, you know? Wait, it did? Yeah. <laughs> no! No! Ignore him. Don't ignore lot. me. We've seen a lot of ups and downs this season. Hardships and heartbreaks. You know, the season might be over, but... We're just getting started. Honestly, from the start of the tournament, I knew I was going to win. I had no doubt, but felt great. I knew the outcome, but just felt great. Love to eat turkey. Love to eat turkey. Adios, mi amigos. Goodbye, my favorite. <laughs>